Now, with the new eligibility criteria, folks who are obese or overweight will be able to get vaccinated, but determining if you qualify has to do with the ratio between your height and your weight. Paul Dudley shows the tool the CDC has to calculate your body mass index. More Louisianans are going to be able to get the COVID-19 vaccine, including those considered obese or overweight. The new qualifications are part of a long list of health issues that experts say make people more susceptible to the virus. Determining if you're either obese or overweight has to do with body mass index or BMI. And it's basically a, a ratio uh, of uh, height uh, and weight. Obesity is defined as having a BMI over 30, whereas overweight is having that BMI somewhere in between 25 and 29.9. The CDC has a tool at their website. Let's say you are five feet, nine inches tall, and you weigh 200 pounds. Press the calculation there, and then there you see, technically you are in that 25 to 29.9, and that would make you technically overweight, and thus you'd qualify for the vaccine. A 2019 survey from Trust America's Health showed 70% of all adults in Louisiana were either obese or overweight. Research shows people who fall into these categories are more likely to end up in the hospital or die from COVID-19, but is BMI really accurate? I've got bodybuilder friends who have very high BMIs. Uh, why do you think the CDC used this metric? While you're correct, people who are super muscular, for example, may have a high BMI and not be obese, uh, according to the traditional metric. Most of the time, it's fairly accurate in determining whether someone is overweight. With more people becoming eligible for the vaccine, we asked Dr. Ben Springate with LSU Health if he anticipates any supply problems. If everyone shows up tomorrow, yes, there will be some supply problems. But over the coming weeks, we probably will continue to see ample supply rolling out and uh, people will be able to get their vaccines. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. We'll throw a link to that BMI calculator on our website, wwltv.com.